Yeah, hello everyone and welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we're going to see a new question. There's something called has bad. Okay, the question is uh, given a string written true if bad appears at the starting at the index 0 or 1 in the given string. Okay, so we should return true if the bad string appears at the index 0 or 1. Okay, such as so bad xxx or x bad xx, but not xx and bad. Okay, the string may be any length, including and zero. Okay, we can use the dot equals uh, function to compare two strings. Okay, so now here, uh, how to check this? So how to check uh, the bad string uh, has been starting from zero and one. So let me understand the program. Let me just go to my scratch pad. Yeah, here I just say bad xx, right? So you have to run true here. Why? Because from the starting at index 0, first three characters is bad. So it is true. So in this case, how you find out this one? So first condition should be if you want to find out from the index 0 exactly three characters to be bad means watch it must be length it should be greater than or equal to three right so minimum length should be three then only you can find out the first three characters as bad or not right okay and also one more thing how to find out the first three characters is bad or not simple it's just str dot you know substring of zero comma three uh, dot equals of bad right. uh, let me reduce the font yeah uh, here you can go for bad okay so our first logic here is if it is having length greater than or equal to 3 then the str dot substring of 0 comma 3 is bad and also they told either bad starts in the index 0 or 1 so sometimes x bad xx so now here uh, it is again true so here if you want to check the the string the substring starts from the index 1 to be bad if you want to start with the first string i um, mean the first uh, index this is three characters and whatever the first one four characters so minimum length should be minimum length should be four characters then only you can achieve you know uh, up to here you can find out okay so length is greater than or equal to four and also how to check exactly this number i mean this bad substring so str dot substring of so we want to start from the index one comma the including index is four dot equals you have to give what bad okay next step suppose xx and the bad something is there then this is what false because we want to check only starting index and also the first index was so not uh, the second index onwards right so that's the question and this is the solution so you must check length is uh, this one and the substring or either this or this because we want watch starting at the index 0 or 1 so this is the starting index 0 or this is 1 so let's write a answer for this <clears throat> let me just copy this go to Eclipse and paste yeah here uh, you have to check the length of here let's say if uh, str dot length is greater than or equal to 3 and uh, was the next one you have to check 0 comma 3 index so str dot substring of 0 comma 3 so dot equals of bad okay so length is minimum three characters and the first three characters equal to bad okay or one more thing what is that is str dot length is greater than or equal to 4 
let's make in a next line uh, and uh, str dot substring of one comma four okay uh, still you get some error i think you need to add one more brackets okay and what about this oh you must not add here mm. oh dot equals of bad something went wrong again this is uh, stopped here okay then this is not required is that okay fine so this is either index one or sorry either index zero or index one okay so if this is the case written true so else else remaining any cases it will be written false okay so now let me copy this go to here and just paste it and click on go yes i got all success right and one more thing uh, actually what we have done here is see if the condition is success didn't true if the condition fails it and false so ultimately we are just returning the condition itself right so while writing these many lines uh, you can go for a shortcut you can just simply return the logic we don't need to write this one so now think return this or this if it is true it and true if it is false it and false so that's it so now let me copy this back to here and paste it and click on go yes i got success right and this is the solution for this problem and thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next question in the next video thank you